been a bit of a running joke on my Twitch channel <laughs> since I started, but I don't have a place to store my drill bits. In fact, when I need a drill bit, I just clank around in a drawer. So, I found this piece of pine that was given to me by my friend Dan from an old bed frame that he didn't want anymore. So I wanted to make a couple of sections, one for my Bosch Brad Point bits, and then another little section to put my really tiny drill bits into that I use a lot for things like key rings to put the little loops in the top that the, uh, the rings go through. This is just like a rebate, really. Kind of like a mortise with one side missing, if I had to describe it like that. But by the time it gets attached to the wall, it will be kind of like a mortise that the Bosch bits just slip into. I could have had them out of the case, but I kind of like the case. And I sort of like to have it sitting there in front of me when I'm using the bits. So I thought I'd keep the case this time, rather than take them out. Now I'm trying very carefully here to outline around the edge of this pine so I could chisel it like this and prevent something like this from happening but it still happened mm. so <laughs> luckily this is just for drill bits and it's not anything special so I just carried on with it I don't see the point in trying to fuss about it too much it's, it's purely just for organisation The only thing I did here measurement wise was to make the drill bits 1.5 centimeters back from the front edge. As far as the spacing goes along the whole line of where the drill bits are lined up, I just held the drill bit in there next to the one that was there before it and then just marked where it looked like it was in the right place. Because they're all different thicknesses so it's hard to really place them in the right place with the measurement. I then wanted to make two little sections for my countersink tool and my sort of Yankee screwdriver Archimedes drill thing that I had. Then I could just really lightly plane the top, get all the fuzziness off or as much of the fuzziness off as possible. There was still a lot of fuzziness on the drilled part. And just clean it up a bit basically. Then I just drilled a couple of holes for the screws to go into that were going to hold the organiser to my pallet wood tool wall. So what I did was drill two pilot holes for the screws but then, because the organiser, the bit of wood I've used, is quite thick, I had to sort of countersink them down with a thicker drill, but you can see the hole is quite a bit thicker there. So the screws actually go quite far into the wood. I'm just finishing it off with some linseed oil there, just because that seems to be the kind of thing you use for things around the workshop. Now you'll notice that my twist drill bits at the front, my sort of multi-purpose bits, there's lots of gaps. That's because I don't have all of those bits yet. Um, these are just bits that I've generally acquired over time, so I'm just going to slowly build those bits up and fill those gaps in. Make sure I buy some nice bits. See the Bosch one slips in behind there, and there's my really tiny drill bits. And then the countersink tool, and the Archimedes drill, the twist drill, or the Yankee screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, thanks for watching that guys, a really simple project, and uh, hopefully I'll catch you again soon.